गुड इवनिंग Yes, uh, is the screen visible and uh, is my voice audible? Cake the upper screen visible. I hear can button chat box. Let's say na good evening everybody. So if that's there, then probably we'll start today's session. Okay. Just let me know if it is uh, audible and if the screen is visible. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening everybody. So, இன்னைக்கு நம்ம ஆக்சுவலி என்ன பண்ண போறோம் அப்படி பாத்தீங்கன்னா இன்னைக்கு வந்து நம்ம ரேபிட் ஃபயர் செஷன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லியிருக்கோம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ நம்ம முன்னாடியே சொன்ன மாதிரி ஆல் தோஸ் ஹூ ஆக்சுவலி டூ ரியலி வெல் இன் த ரேபிட் ஃபயர் செஷன் வில் ஆல்சோ பி கிவன் ப்ரைசஸ் ஓகேவா த்ரீ வினர்ஸ் வில் பி சௌசன் பிகாஸ் லாஸ்ட் டைம் ஆல்சோ ஒருத்தவங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அ லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் குட் நாட் I mean, lot of people who deserved could not be given prizes. So, now at this time, there will be three winners who will be announced. So, three people, top three on the will be announced and they will be given prizes. Okay. So, is everybody ready? And uh, shall we start? Start Palana. Yes. Then we'll be good to go and we'll start. Okay. Okay. Now, cake requests are options. You can tell the answers in the chat box. Okay. That's all. and there are no ground rules as such one one than the fastest fingers first yaar fast answer anpringlo you will stand a chance to win the prize all right shall we begin now yes first question graham greens the power and the glory is set in the city of dash so in which city is this particular work set Graham Greens the power and the glory Mexico Any other answers Where the answer is only ma'am Graham Greens the power and the glory is set in the city of dash In the city la it is set power and the glory Yes, very good, Nitya. The answer is Mexico. So Mexico, da, and the is this is the place where power and the glory is set. Okay, now, now the next question is where is the art the portrait of the artist as a young man set? In the novel, and the is the novel by James Joyce. So where is this particular novel set? A portrait of the artist as a young man. So where is this novel set? That's your next question. in which place is this particular novel set a portrait to the artist as a young man yes it's in ireland but then there is one town in ireland and the town da edu appadina i want you to answer it's not cape town it's not cape town Very good, George. It's Dublin. Okay, so Dublin is the place where this particular novel is set. A portrait of the artist okay. as a young man. Other than it is set in Dublin. All right. All right. So setting, like of course, every time, every now and then, you have questions based on the setting. For example, uh, New Atlantis le, it are they engaged set te ayirke? Are they madri? You earlier had a question on waiting for Godo. Waiting for Godo lo, what is the setting? So, ane mari ane questions in the again you can expect such questions in the upcoming exam as well. Okay. So, ane na I asked you one such question. So, the next is uh, I'll give you three people and I want you to mention one person who does not belong to kitchen sink drama. கிச்சன் சிங் ட்ராமா கீழே இல்லாதது யார் அப்படின்னு நீங்கள் வந்து சொல்லணும் நான் உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஃபோர் நேம்ஸ் சொல்ல போகிறேன் அதில் யார் வந்து கிச்சன் சிங் ட்ராமா கிடையாதுன்னு நீங்கள் சொல்லணும் ஓகேங்களா ஆப்ஷன் ஏ சிஞ்ச் பி ஆஸ்பான் சி வெஸ்கா டி டிலெனி ஓகே சிஞ்ச் ஆஸ்பான் வெஸ்கா டிலெனி ஹூ டஸ் நாட் பிலாங் டு கிச்சன் சிங் ட்ராமா Yes, 
Yes, Shibu, very good. The answer is Singe. Okay, class. Shibu and Nitya, both of your answers are correct. It is Singe. So, Osborn Damande is actually the person who started this whole idea of kitchen sink drama because he wrote this very famous play. Uh, and the play Damande, you have this uh, portrayal of kitchen sink drama. Can you mention the name of the play that was written by John Osborn? This is not a part of it, but still. John Osborn is in a play then Solomidima. Look back in anger. Very good. This is my ear. Can we class la patriko? Now, Singe is associated with the Irish revival. Okay, la. So, Irish drama, Irish revival order. Singe is largely associated. So, it does not form a part of kitchen sink drama. Kitchen sink drama is predominantly British drama. Okay, la. Now, moving on. Next question. Who coined the term the theater of the absurd? The theater of the absurd. A print term coined panadi Who coined the term the theater of the absurd? Very good, Mr. George. The answer is Martin Eslin. Actually, Albert Kamu, he only used this uh, term of absurdity and theater of the absurd in his work, The Myth of Sisyphus. Okay, la. But initially, the whole idea of the theater of the absurd, when it was introduced by Martin Eslin in his essay, The Theater of the Absurd. That is the title order and the essay order title. Okay, la. So, that he first, first introduced this idea of absurd theater. Next, who among the following is not an Irish playwright? Irish playwright, you are supposed to mention. I will give you four options again. You are supposed to mention who among the four is not an Irish playwright. Okay, la. First, uh, G.B. Shaw, Singe, Sin O. Cassie, and Edward Bond. In the four people left, who among the four is not a part of the Irish theatre? Who among the four? Yes, very good. All of you have the right answers. It is Edward Bond. Okay, la. G.P. Shaw also belongs to the Irish theatre. So, he does not belong to the uh, British theatre. But Edward Bond is a person who belongs to the British theatre. Okay, la. So, Edward Bond, like I said earlier in the previous sessions, has written various retellings of Shakespeare's plays. Okay, la. so, that's why I'm the place I've been to the path. Konga. And the next question is from The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. In which of the sections do you come across the reference to the plib to Plebius, the Phoenician sailor? Plebius is a Phoenician sailor. So, in the stanza, in the section of the poetry, you have a reference to uh, Plebius. Okay? Yes, very good, Shweta Harini. The answer is death by water. Death by water is the shortest section. Okay, la. And the shortest section, la, on the, you have a reference uh, to the Phoenician sailor. Alright, very good. Okay, next. I'll mention two novels. I want you to mention the author. Now, two novels or a pair of the novel is the author. The net and the sand castle. Okay, the net and the sand castle. The net and the sand castle are novels by Dash. Yar is in a novels, the net and the sand castle. Who wrote these two novels? The net and the sand castle are novels by Dash. Okay, Shello has the right answer. The answer is Iris Murdoch. Okay, Iris Murdoch or the works down there are uh, these two ones, the net and the sand castle. Okay, very good. 
Yes, Iris Modoc. Next. Who is the author of the book The Postmodern Condition? The Postmodern Condition Abrin Rabuke is in the R. Who is the author of the book The Postmodern Condition? Who is the author of this particular book, The Postmodern Condition? Very good, Lightard. Lightard is the answer. Very good. Who described English as a killer language? Who described English as a killer language? Yar vande English vande killer language. Abdin solti describe pani kaun ande da vande question. Who described English as a killer language? Who did that? Okay, I'll give you options. Randolph Quirk, Sidney Greenbaum, David Crystal, Henry Bartley. Four options. Sidney Greenbaum, Randolph Quirk, David Crystal, Henry Bartley. Even the four people there, who described English as a killer language? Any answers? Yarn when the English global language are English, who called English the killer language? Okay, the answer is David Crystal. Okay, now David Crystal, he calls English as a killer language. All right. So, David Crystal is the answer. Sidney Greenbaum and Randolph Quick, Yare have been pathing now. They both have written a book together, uh, a university grammar of English. So, on the book, the authors are on the Sidney Greenbaum and Randolph Quirk. Okay. Yes. Now, moving on. I'll read a few lines. I want you to mention the work. It's from one of Shakespeare's work. Okay. Now. The lunatic, the lover, and the poet are of imagination all compact. The lunatic, the lover and the poet are of imagination all compact. From which play of Shakespeare are these lines taken? The lunatic. Very good. It is from Midsummer Night's Dream. Okay, Midsummer Night's Dream landed in the lines. And later on as well, these lines uh, influenced Nisim Esekiel. Another Nisim Esekiel wrote another poem, The Poet, Lover and the Bird Watcher. Okay, so that has a reference to this particular play of Shakespeare. Okay, who wrote this particular book? It's the name of a book. What happens in Hamlet? What happens in Hamlet? Abdin Rabukoda author yet. Who is the author? Who is the author of this particular book? What happens in Hamlet? Very good, Shailu. It is Dover Wilson. Okay, Dover Wilson is actually the author of this particular work. So, Dover Wilson is the author what happens in Hamlet? Alright? Yes, very good. It's Dover Wilson. Okay, next question. Who says the following about poetry? Poetry is, open quotes, a speaking picture with, with the end to teach and delight. Poetry is a speaking picture with the end to teach and delight. Who said that? Yes. 
very good nitya it is sydney okay sydney or da on the is this particular line wherein he says that poetry is a speaking picture with the end to teach and delight okay so ekka chakka mana times vand there is uh, generally uh, a difference i mean idu ivunga solle i mean idu yaar sonanga because a lot of people have said the same thing that poetry should begin with delight and end with thought for example you also have uh, robert frost robert frost also the figure a poem makes up in raisele he again talks about the same thing where a poem should begin with thought and end in delight okay la so this idea is something that is repetitive so are the exact lines yaar sonanga abindradume vanda urika paathichukonga now i'll give you a line and you have to find out the character end the character vandu idu solirukanga abindradhu you supposed to find out right now I am a man more sinned against than sinning. I am a man more sinned against than sinning. If the end the character of Shakespeare says this line. I am a man more sinned against than sinning. So who says this? Which character of Shakespeare? Very good, Shallow. It is uh, King Lear. Okay, la. In the line, Mande is from King Lear. It is not from anybody else. It's from King Lear. And remember these lines: I am a man more sinned against than sinning. Okay, so that is from King Lear. Okay, are they? Mari, no, no. That's repeatedly asked. Is the prologue to the Canterbury Tales and also the Canterbury Tales? So, are they? And then you guys know time. Now, let me revise. Pani vechi konga because the prologue again is very, very important from the point of view of the examination. Now, talking about this particular uh, prologue and the questions that are asked from the prologue, you have uh, one question that I want you all to answer. Who among the characters in the Canterbury Tales? is fond of playing a bagpipe who among the characters in the canterbury tales is fond of playing a bagpipe who among the characters plays a bagpipe Very good, Shallow. It is the Miller. Okay, you know the Miller is very fond of playing the bagpipe. So, in my small, small nuances about the about each of these characters, I think we may have some questions I will reply. Okay, you know, for example, that the husband, uh, the wife of Bath had. So, I think we will get that marriage is more than that. So, on the more than questions, could you you could have based on the prologue. So, I think we on the. learn about some peculiarity that's present in the character for suppose in the character there is any difference irukku appadina please look at that particular difference and note that particular difference as well okay la yes next so next is about journals and years me on the repeated a kelli de da irupanga so i have one question Which year was the first issue of the Tatler published? Tatler la vande when was the first issue published? When was the first issue of the Tatler published? I'll give you years if you want. 1707 okay they already have the answer it is 1709 okay la so 1709 is the year when the first issue was published. So till when was it published? Next question. Till when was it published? Seventeen or nine? Let's start. Ache. Till when was it published? Very good, Shallow. It was seventeen uh, eleven. Okay, now seventeen eleven. Very come on there. This particular work was in publication. Okay, so next War of Roses. What a period is it? War of Roses. What is the period of the War of Roses? War of Roses. What a period. All right. War of Roses. What a period. And I do next question.
What's the period of the War of Roses? Okay, Nitya answer in the correct 1455 to 1485. Okay, so that was uh, the time period of the War of Roses. So, War of Roses, the, the Plantagenes and the other groups. So, social history also, I want you all to look up at social history as well. Because sometimes, questions so also please look at the social uh, history of England. All right, now. Absalom and Akitophil poem le, Absalom yaar ude representation in the poem Absalom and Akitophil Absalom stands for dash so Absalom and the yaar ude rep, uh, the representation oh so does Absalom stand for David Very good, Nitya. It is James Scott, Duke of Monmouth. Okay, James Scott is the name, and our title on the Duke of Monmouth. So, Duke of Monmouth, down the he is represented using Absalom, and Charles II is represented using uh, David. Okay, now David stands for Charles II, and Absalom st stands for his son. Adade James Scott and Duke of Manma. And Ekitophil. Ekitophil stands for Ekitophil stands for Earl of Shaftesbury, yes. Anthony Ashley Cooper or Earl of Shaftesbury. Okay, yeah. So yeah, so you you also need to look at the allegory that's present because there are a lot of characters after that. For example, Zimri. Zimri represents Duke of Buckingham. And the characters are Kanga, so Aduma on the please that's the path konga. And after that, you have another question. Transferred epithet is also known as Dash. Transferred epithet is also known as dash. Transferred epithet ke no or pair on yirke. So on the pair yenna. What's the other name for transferred epithet? I did this in uh, the session that happened two days back on figures of speech. Figures of speech na pa kamada. I taught you this. So on the video ninga pa thir kinga abina you will definitely know the answer. Transferred epithet, what is the other name? What's the other name for transferred epithet? Very good, shallow. It is high fledge. Okay, high fledge is the other name for transferred epithet. All right, very good. So, other important years now, I pan the faster other incidents on our beginning, other important year, but mention pano. Okay, yeah, we're only going to talk about the most important years. The Globe Theatre was destroyed. When was the Globe Theatre destroyed? Year on date or solnoide. Along with the date, I want you to mention when was the Globe Theatre destroyed. Here, I think most of you will be able to say, but then I want you to mention the um, date as well. Along with the year, please tell me when was the Globe Theatre destroyed by fire? It was actually burned down. So, at the end of the year, Lanar and the Chapri and Rada is your question right now. So, when was it burnt down? When was the Globe Theatre burnt down? Okay, Shallow says it is 29th uh, June 1613. So, where are the answers to come? 16th June. Sorry, uh, 29th June 1613. Uh, yes, Shallow's answer is correct. It is 29th June 1613. Okay, so that's the right answer. After that, when was the modern reconstruction of the Globe Theatre open? 
modern reconstruction question alla understand panikonga i am not talking about the ancient globe theater we are talking about a modern reconstruction when was the modern reconstruction opened very good 1997 so 1997 it was approximately built uh, sorry it was opened in the year 1997 and it approximately measured 970 sorry 750 feet okay so 750 feet are in the chi when it was reopened and it was called shakespeare's globe okay next question when did gb shaw win the nobel prize in which year did gb shaw win the nobel prize in the year la when the win panikar is your question so in which year did he win the nobel prize very good 1925 is the answer 1925 he won the nobel prize which year did rabindranath tagore win the nobel prize in which year did rabindranath tagore win the nobel prize in the year la rabindranath tagore won the nobel prize 1913 yes very good uh george david has the right answer it is 1913 okay yeah few very very important years as far as the nobel prize or the nobel laureates are concerned 1948 la it was ts eliot who won the nobel prize and in 1923 it was wb yeats 1925 it was gb shaw 1929 thomas more okay so either sorry thomas man sorry sorry idu ninga nalla yavichukonga 1948 ts eliot okay uh 1923 gb shaw 19 sorry 1923 wb yeats 1925 gb shaw and 1929 thomas man okay next when was the das capital published in which year was the das capital published das capital in the year la published panna patta or work abindrathu neenga solnum Two thousand thirteen. Ah, okay. Das Capital when was it published? Very good, Sheeta. Eighteen sixty-seven. So eighteen sixty-seven. La Das Capital was published. All right. Now I'll mention few terms, and I want you to mention the person who is associated with these terms. And yar in the terms in the coin panangla, aungla mande nigga pa mention panu. Okay, la. First, tabula rasa. Tabula rasa. Whose concept is it? Tabula rasa. Very good, shallow. It's by John Locke. Okay, in the work I have been passing in a an essay concerning human understanding. Like this particular concept was introduced, and an essay concerning human understanding was published in the year sixteen eighty nine. Okay, now and also one more thing about tabula rasa is that tabula rasa. I have been telling you, you consider the mind as a blank slate. and then there is nothing is just a clean slate and anything that happens in the form of experiences or language learning anything that happens that gets stored on the blank slate as impressions adha da leads to learning abrin reda is called as the idea of tabula rasa all right you also had various theorists who contended against this particular idea of tabula rasa because adikapra pathinga abrin chomsky ellame vandu they spoke about how the mind is very very important in language learning okay la so yes so adha that's the concept of tabula rasa and essay concerning human understanding next stream of consciousness stream of consciousness who coined this particular term illa yaarude term idu abdin neenga sonna william james 
yes it is not james joyce it is william james okay la so william james sort of work the principles of psychology he was actually a psychologist so the principles of psychology abrin ro work that was published in 1890 la he actually introduced this particular idea of stream of consciousness okay la stream of consciousness abrin ro is his own idea and that was introduced by uh, william james in his work all right arte objective correlative objective correlative whose idea is objective correlative very good chelo it is by washington alston okay la nam generally vandha na po it is by t s eliot abdin solte but the thing is it is not by t s eliot but it is by uh this particular uh, person washington alston okay la washington alston now the he initially brought about uh this uh, term itself so washington alston abdin rendu he was a painter and then he introduced this term objective correlative and uh, he i mean t s eliot in fact popularized this term in literary criticism so then the literary criticism ke eduthittu vandadhu da vandu is t s eliot okay la but then this term originally belongs to uh, washington alston all right yes next metaphysics metaphysics who metaphysics very good alfred jerry so alfred jerry then he introduced this idea of metaphysics okay la so metaphysics abrin rendu is a concept of alfred jerry so idu vandu metaphysics abrin nam solum bodhu it's a branch of uh, philosophy and science okay so adu vandu it examines how things go beyond metaphysics adhu da vandu nam metaphysics abrin solrom all right next b generation b generation very good chelo it is uh, jack caro okay jack caro the important on a contribution is this term b generation so in the b generation of dean return whether it comes from his work all right theater of cruelty theater of cruelty theater of cruelty very good chelo again chelo chelo has uh, is answering a lot of questions so yeah very good so yes the answer is antonin or todd okay antonin or todd vandu endo work la id actually kondu vandiranga appadi paathinga the theater and its double all right the theater and its double that was published in the year 1938 so 1938 la vandha Uh, in the work the theater and its double apdin radla da vandu this particular term of the theater of cruelty was introduced all right magical realism magical realism magical realism apdin ra term vandu endha yaar introduce pananga sorry yaar introduce pananga magical realism apdin ra term France row very good very good chalo France row yes correct France row da next i'll give you few works ad yaar yaar ku dedicate aachu appdi neenga solnu okay la idu vandha indha work vandha ungalku dedicate pananga appindra mari neenga vandha mention panna poringa first wasteland by t s eliot yaar ku vandha dedicate panara appdi wasteland edhi mudichu to whom was it dedicated wasteland யாருக்கு டெடிகேட் பண்ணப்பட்ட ஒர்க் வேஸ்ட்லேண்ட் வெரி குட் செலோ 
இட் இஸ் எஸ்ரா பவுண்ட் ஓகேங்களா எஸ்ரா பவுண்ட் தான் வந்து ஹி ஆக்சுவலி எடிட்டட் தி ஹோல் ஆஃப் வேஸ்ட் லைன் இன்ஃபேக்ட் வேஸ்ட் லைன் வந்து எக்கச்சக்கமான லைன்ஸ் இருக்குது அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க அந்த எக்கச்சக்கமான லைன்ஸுமே ரெடியூஸ் பண்ணி ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ லைன்ஸ் கடைசியில் இருந்தது எதுனால அப்படி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எஸ்ரா பவுண்டோட எடிஷன் டெலிஷன் அவர் எடிட் பண்ணதுனால தான் வந்து அப்படி இருந்துச்சு அப்படின்னு வந்து சொல்லப்படப்படுது இப்போ வந்து எஸ்ரா பவுண்ட் அப்படின்னு நம்ம பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னாலே அவர் தான் வந்து டீச்சர் யூ குட் சே ஃபார் டிஎஸ் இலியட் ஸோ அவர் டீச்சராக இருந்தார் அப்படின்றதுனால என்ன ஆச்சு அப்படி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா he introduces this uh, i mean he wrote the dedication to this particular work adu eldrappa he used these words il miglior fabro il miglior fabro apindrendu it's from latin and it means the better craftsman so esra pam il miglior fabro apindrathu dhaan this the dedication and il miglior fabro apindradoda meaning enna appadi pathinga na the better craftsman okayla yes next மேரி ஷெல்லிஸ் ஃப்ராங்கின்ஸ்டைன் மேரி ஷெல்லிஸ் ஃப்ராங்கின்ஸ்டைன் வந்து யாருக்கு டெடிக்கேட் பண்ணப்பட்ட ஒர்க் யாருக்காக டெடிக்கேட் பண்ணாங்க ஃப்ராங்கின்ஸ்டைனை டு ஹூம் வாஸ் தி டெடிக்கேட்டட் வெரி குட் காட்வின் ஸோ இது வந்து இட் வாஸ் டெடிக்கேட்டட் டு வில்லியம் காட்வின் ஓகேங்களா ஸோ இட் வாஸ் டெடிக்கேட்டட் டு வில்லியம் காட்வின் ஹர் ஃபாதர் அடுத்து வந்து எல்இஜிஸ் இந்த எல்இஜிஸ் வந்து யாருக்காக எழுதினாங்க அப்படின்றது தான் ஐ வாண்ட் டு மென்ஷன் லிசிடஸ் பை ஜான் மில்டன் ஸோ அது யாருடைய டெத் மோன் பண்ணி எழுதியிருக்காங்க Yes, Edward King. Okay, very good, Shailu. So, this is one that is actually an elegy that was written morning the death of Edward King. Okay, yeah. Uh, Claw, I mean, or you said, King, Claw, the death of Mount Penny is in the end is Matthew Arnold. So, Matthew Arnold, our Lord, our Lord, the third says the scholar Gypsy, either Lamy, he wrote morning the death of uh, Claw. Okay, yeah. Next. அவங்க அவங்களோட டூம் ஸ்டோன்ஸ்ல இருந்தது என்னன்ட்டு நான் சொல்றேன் இது யாரோட டூம் ஸ்டோன்ல இருந்திருக்கலாம் அப்படின்றது வந்து நீங்க இப்ப கெஸ்ட் பண்ண போறீங்க ஓகே தீஸ் ஆர் எபிடெப் ஆன் தேர் டூம் ஸ்டோன்ஸ் அது யாரோட டூம் ஸ்டோன் அப்படின்றது தான் நீங்க கெஸ்ட் பண்ணும் ஓகேங்களா ஹியர் லைஸ் த ஒன் ஹூஸ் நேம் இஸ் ரிட் இன் வாட்டர் ஹியர் லைஸ் த ஒன் ஹூஸ் நேம் இஸ் ரிட் இன் வாட்டர் இது யாரோட எபிடெப் வெரி குட் செலோ இட்ஸ் பை கீட்ஸ் ஓகேங்களா ஸோ கீட்ஸோட எபிடெஃப் தான் வந்து இது நெக்ஸ்ட் காஸ்ட் அ கோல்ட் ஐ ஆன் லைஃப் அண்ட் டெத் ஹார்ஸ் மேன் பாஸ் பை ஓகே அது முடிஞ்சிச்சு இப்போ நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் ஐ ரீட் இட் ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் காஸ்ட் அ கோல்ட் ஐ ஆன் லைஃப் அண்ட் டெத் ஹார்ஸ் மேன் பாஸ் பை Yes, very good, Shello. It's by Yates. Okay, WB Yates or Epitaph now on this, is this particular thing. All right. Yes. 
Next one, the works and their subtitles. I'm not going to ask very very common uh, subtitles and works. Ungalga maybe teriyam erkar dikana chance sirka Mariana works and then I'll keep it. Other subtitles and I want you to mention. Okay. The Power and the Glory by Graham Greene. Other one subtitle yena. What is the subtitle of The Power and the Glory by Graham Greene? Power in the Glory by Graham Greene. Other the subtitle. Very good. Labyrinthine Ways. Okay. Uh, the Labyrinthine Ways. So that is the subtitle. Next. George Orwell's Animal Farm. George Orwell's Animal Farm. So other the subtitle. George Orwell's Animal Farm. What's the subtitle? Very good, Cello. It is a fairy story. Okay, it's a fairy story. Next. Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. Very good, Shallow. It is a tragic comedy in two acts. Okay, now, a tragic comedy in two acts. Very good. Okay. The own and only play by Samuel Johnson. The own and only play by Samuel Johnson. The own and only play by Samuel Johnson. Which is the own and only play by Samuel Johnson. Very good, Shweta. It's Iron. Okay, Iron was published in the year 1749. Okay, so Adida on this is the own and only play by Samuel Johnson. Next, own and only play by James Joyce. Own and only play by James Joyce. The own and only play by James Joyce. Very good. Exile. Exile is correct. Exile was the 1918 published by a worker. So it is exile. Okay. Next. The own and only play by Virginia Woolf. The own and only play by Virginia Woolf. Own and only play by Virginia Woolf. Which is the one and only play by Virginia Woolf? Orlando? It's not Orlando. Orlando and the player. Very good, Shweta. It is Freshwater. Okay, la. Freshwater or comedy is the only and only play that was written by Virginia Woolf. All right. Yes. Next, uh, fictional landscapes and settings. Merrytown is used in which of Jane Austen's novels? 
Jane Austen or novels only at you. In which of Jane Austen's novels is this particular uh, work? Sorry, is this particular fictional town, Mary Town, used? Meryton, sorry, Meryton. Upper end is on the end the play on the sorry end the novel of Jane Austen. Let use for it. In which novel of Jane Austen is this particular work used? Very good, Pride and Prejudice. So, Pride and Prejudice, which is published in the year 1813, you have this particular town, Meryton, that is mentioned. Okay. Next, Coke Town. Coke Town. Coke Town. Coke Town, Aprindrasinde, is from which of, I mean, from whose work and from which work? Very good. It is from Charles Dickens's Hard Times. Okay, Hard Times. Abdin the novel. Let me you have the mention of Coke Town. Brampur. 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 It's of course an Indian novelist. Brampur. Brampur is from whose novel and what's the name of the novel? Very good Shello, it is from A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. Okay, so it's from this particular work, A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth. All right. Now, I'm going to work so long and I'm going to set things so long. Okay, I'm going to update you all the time. Graham Greene's The Comedians. Graham Greene's The Comedians. That's the setting I want you to mention right now. Setting very good, Shallow. It is from Haiti. Okay, it's from Haiti. Next, The Plumed Serpent by D.H. Lawrence. The Plumed Serpent by D.H. Lawrence. Plumed Serpent. Okay, Mexico is the right answer. Shallow has the right answer. It's Mexico. Okay, la. it's from Mexico. Next. the following does not big big sorry who who among the following does not belong to the scribblers club okay i'll give you four options who among the following does not belong to the scribblers club jonathan swift john keats alexander pope and thomas parnell who does not belong to the scribblers club Very good, Madhi. It is Keats because Keats belongs to the Satanic school. Now, Satanic school, Abdin Salam Bade, Adlamadi, you have P.B. Shelley, John Keats, Byron. So, on the school down, the Keats belongs to. Keats does not belong to the Scribblers Club. Scribblers Club, Abdin Sultapatha, Abdin, you have Alexander Pope, uh, Jonathan Swift, Thomas Parnell, 
John Arbuth, Abhi mera tha. You have the epistle of Arbuth not being written. John Arbuth not. You have John Gay and uh, Henry Saint John. Okay. So you will learn they belong to the scribblers club. But satanic school na you have P. B. Shelley, Keats and Lord Byron. All right. Next question. Who among the following belongs to the Rhymers Club? Who among the following belongs to the Rhymers Club? Listen to the options very carefully. Ernest Rice, Ezra Pound, Richard Arlington, Rupert Brooke. Who among the following belongs to the Rhymers Club? Ernest Rice, Ezra Pound, Richard Allington and Rupert Brooke. Very good. Ernest Rice belongs to the. Uh, very good. Yes, Ernest Rice belongs to the Rhymers Club. Other members of the Rhymers Club, yar lab dis ulti pati ke na. W B E H also belongs to the Rhymers Club. and you have ernest dawson and uh, lionel johnson okay so they all belong to the rhymers club okay esra pound he belongs to the images school or the warsist movement what is this movement what is this abdinra movement then you have esra pound and richard adlington and after that you have rupert brook rupert brook belongs to the school of war poets all right yes next Who among the following were called the Inklings? I want you to find out two people who were called the Inklings. Okay, first, J. M. Barry, S. R. Crockett, C. S. Lewis, J. R. R. Tolkien. Who among the following were called the Inklings? I'll repeat the options once again. J M Barry, J R R Tolkien, C S Lewis, and S R Crockett. Very good, chalo. Right answer is C S Lewis and J R R Tolkien. Okay, other than that is the right answer. So they both belong to this particular uh, category called the Inkling. All right, next. Virginia Woolf expresses her feminist views in which among the following works: A Night and Day, Jacob's Room, The Common Reader, A Room of One's Own. Which among the following works expresses her feminist views? A Night and Day, Jacob's Room, The Common Reader, and A Room of One's Own. Very good. Of course, it is a room of one's own. Okay, ingla. Which among the following is not a character from Animal Farm? Animal Farm le illa the character diye the abhi ninga sala poringa. Napoleon, Snowball, Boxer, Victor. Napoleon, Snowball, Boxer, Victor. Who among the following is not a character in Animal Farm? Napoleon, Snowball, Boxer, Victor. Very good, uh, Mr. George. It is Victor. Okay, Victor. That is the answer. All the other characters are, of course, from the Animal Farm. All right. Which among the following is not a play by Samuel Beckett? Now I'll give you four options. In the play is not a play by Samuel Beckett. Apni nida ninga sala paringa. Option A, Waiting for Godot, Juno and Peacock, End Game, Happy Days.
Juno and Peacock. Very good. Juno and Peacock is not a work that was written by Samuel Beckett. Excuse me. Quintessence of Ibsenism is a study of Ibsen's dramas by Dash. So, quintessence of Ibsenism is the work of study on Ibsen. Who did this study on Ibsen? Very good, Mati. It is Shaw. Okay, Shaw the study is called as the quintessence of Ibsenism. Alright. Next, who among the following is not a war poet? I wanted to mention who is not a war poet. All right. Rupert Brooke, Siegfried Sassoon, Wilfred Owen and P.G. Woodhouse. Who among the following is not a war poet? Yeah, when the war poet Kedayade. Who among the following was not a war poet? Rupert Brooke, Siegfried Sassoon. Very good, Madhi. Very good. It is Woodhouse. Okay. Woodhouse. Correct. Which among the following plays of G.B. Shaw has Napoleon as the protagonist? Napoleon as the protagonist in the work, in the play of G.B. Shaw, Napoleon is the protagonist. Abhinav, this is your question. And you have four options. Arms and the man, the man of destiny. Arms and the man, the man of destiny. The op apple cart, the apple cart, man and superman. Very good, cello. It is man and man of destiny. Okay, la man of destiny is the answer. On sentiment is actually then the title comes from Virgil's Aeneid. Okay, la. And also it's about how uh, in war there is a soldier who comes and hides. Uh, it happens in uh, Serbia. So Serbian war time it actually takes place and then he comes and stays uh, in the house of a beautiful girl and finally they both get married. So that is actually the story of the arms and the man. The most important thing in the title is from Virgil's Aeneid. Okay, now. So, yes. Who received the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 2007? 2007, who received the Nobel Prize for Literature? Who received the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 2007? Very good. It is Doris Lessing. Okay. Doris Lessing now won the Nobel Prize in the year 2007. Very good. Next. Who penned a poem in memory of W.B. Yeats? W.B. Yeats or Death to Moan Panni in memory of W.B. Yeats. Who wrote a poem? He is actually a modern poet. Who wrote a poem? Yes, very good. W. H. Auden. Correct. All right. Thank you. Um, actually, that's it for today's class. We finished more or less a large number of questions. So, your job is actually to uh, revise or if you don't know the portions, you don't know how to concentrate on the portions. So, Adelame, please try and pre prepare. And the winner of today's session will be announced tomorrow during the live session that will start at 8.30. Okay, yeah? now like a class will start at 8.30. And 8.30 class start our rapport. The winner for today's session will be announced in tomorrow's class. All right.
and uh, yes any other doubts or anything like that you can ask me right now whether the doubts are there irukka irukku appadina neenga vandha engitta kekkalam chat box la any other doubts or anything like that no doubts okay thank you thanks a lot uh, the winner for today's rapid fire session will be announced in tomorrow's live class i'll see you all tomorrow at 8:30 sharp all right thank you thanks a lot